Welcome to Land of the House. I'm Seth. In a previous video, I built this little siphon based off of another video that I saw, and it didn't work, and uh, commenters told me why. Uh, it needs to have a foot valve on the intake here, so I just simply got one of these uh, non-return valves, removed the spring, so you can hear it jump in there, and that's going to go here on this side to let water in, and then also I was told that the out, so output side needs to be smaller than the input, so I just got a little ball valve here. I can put this on this side and uh, reduce that from half inch to whatever we need to there, and hopefully this thing will start. So let's uh, head down to the creek again and see if we can't get this thing to work in this uh, new configuration. So the concept behind this is water comes up here, goes into this first tank, and the pressure here is what's supposed to push back down on the water and send it out this way. Uh, I still don't know if it's gonna work, and if it does work, I think it'll only last for a very short time before this pressure is uh, gone. So anyway, the video that I watched on YouTube showed that it just had tremendous output and it was an amazing pump, able to lift water from down here up to here and just run forever. So we all know that uh, perpetual motion machines don't work. And uh, I think this is gonna be the same. But anyway, I just wanna debunk it. So let's head down to the creek. I don't think I'm going to glue this valve onto the bottom of this. So hopefully it will still uh, hold pressure. So I've got the arrow facing up towards the pipe, which means water will be able to go up into the system, but not fall back down. There we go. That's nice and tight. And then if I turn this over here to this side, I've just got the ball valve I'm gonna place right here. Once again, I didn't bring any glue for that, so we can hopefully adjust that as needed. All right, that should be all the adjustments we need to make for here. Let's go down to the creek and see if it works. Fall time is definitely here, and the water is getting cold. All right, so when I plunge this down, water should go into the system and not be able to come back out. So let's see if I do this for a while, which is what the guy did on the video. It is definitely filling with water. Okay, there we go. Got some water coming out over here. So the thought is this tank is empty. I need to just do this a few times to prime it. Uh oh. <laughs> That didn't work. Okay, that's not working. Let me go ahead and turn this close and see if I can build some pressure in there. All right, now let me try to open it here. All right, so I got this valve closed again. I'm gonna step down here and shake this a bit because I'm still hearing that valve open and close and feel it as I move this about. Okay, I'm gonna crack this, see what happens. It's not the giant burst of water that we saw in the video, that's for sure. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I've drained the system. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this valve open and keep the pump or siphon, whatever it is, upright and just uh, pop this other end into the water until water starts coming out the top. My thoughts are if I keep this upright, then water possibly won't fill this pressure tank uh, and it'll build pressure, I guess what I'm saying. Two hours later. Okay, the system is now full. As you can see right there, I'm gonna close that off and do this a few more times to see if I can build any pressure in there. Uh, so in that video, it just surged out of here like nobody's business. So I still think it's not going to happen, but let me give this, I don't know, 20 or 30 more uh, primes here. Okay, check this out. So whenever I shake this back in the water, it's hitting pretty hard and doesn't really want to open that valve anymore. So I can tell there's pressure in the system. So I have to like really push it in there. So, okay. That seems to be good. Let's keep that right down in there. 
Let's move over to this side and I will uh, hit a stopwatch and open the valve at the same time. And we will see for how long this thing uh, produces water. Okay, got a stopwatch. I'm gonna crack this and push the button. Let's just do that right there. I think that would be sufficient to let that pressure out. So surely a siphon would maintain. Open it all the way up there. All right, let's call it 35 seconds. I don't know about you, but I think that's fair enough to say that this is not doing very well. The guy didn't even have a ball valve on the end of his, so just for the fun of it, let's try this one more time. Well, I think we all know this is a lost cause, so I just wanted to give it the benefit of the doubt and do these suggestions in the comments down below. So added the valve down here, added the ball valve up here and uh, gave it, it's been about 20 minutes of trying and uh, no go. So uh, I'm gonna call this one busted. All right, if there's another video that you want me to try out, I know a lot of people that have watched this kind of siphon thing, they wanna see the 55 gallon barrel siphon as well. So. Uh, I will try to find the stuff to make that test and get that one underway. But as far as this little thing goes, I'm gonna call it busted. If you have enjoyed this test, hit that thumbs up button and make sure you are subscribed. I actually have a ton of ram pump videos, which is a water pump that actually does work off grid. It uses the water hammer effect with two check valves and a pressure tank to send water from a low input source up to a high height uh, at a one to seven ratio. So anyway, if you wanna watch a water pump that actually does work, check out those. In the meantime, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.